feel like a little spice? You know, like midweek you want this pick-me-up? Yeah, me too. I know exactly what you're talking about. I have the perfect recipe for you. We're doing taco stuffed bell peppers. Can't wait. First, these are the items you're going to need for your taco stuffed bell peppers. I'm using ground chicken today. Can't wait to see how that works out. We have our colorful bell peppers. We're going to use some sour cream, some rotel, black beans, cheese, corn, onions. We'll need taco seasoning, and I'm using it out of the pack today. And I also have some brown rice. Okay, guys, I'm using some colorful bell peppers today. Let me go ahead and show you how to cut the tops off so we can prepare to cut to stuff these. And I'm just going to take my knife and pull it back a bit so we can get the top off. Okay, this one's kind of, all right, got through it. Okay, and then you're just going to take out the inside. You can use your knife and scoop out the inside and get that cleaned up. And I'm just picky. I just wanted to get you clean. The girls are so loud tonight, guys. Huh, what can you do? Okay, so once we get it cleaned out, we're going to put it back in the pan and I'm going to take the top and put the top back on just because it's cute. Now that we have our peppers cut, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. In the oven they go. And again, that's 375 for 20 minutes. Next, let's get this onion chopped. Make you want to cry. I think we definitely have enough onion cut up here. Now we're going to head to the over to the pan. And I got ground chicken instead of ground turkey or ground beef. And I notice it says here that it's 50% less fat than your regular ground beef. Guys, you know me and olive oil. I'm going to add a little bit to the pan. Just want to coat your pan. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and add our ground chicken. Now that you've ground it up, now that you've browned, excuse me, your ground chicken, I'm going to go ahead and add in some taco seasoning. And you'll add the entire pack. And kind of just give that a stir and let it get coated. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in our chopped onions. Next thing you want to do is add in a can of black beans. Just make sure you drain them. Stir. Okay guys, it's pretty much time to just dump everything else in the pan. So the next thing we're adding is a cup of corn. And this corn was frozen. I just unthawed it. So it's a cup of corn. The next thing we're adding is a cup of cooked brown rice. We're doing brown instead of white rice, guys. Guys, the next thing we're adding is, it asked for um, a jar of salsa. I'm using Rotel. We're going to go ahead and add that in. And this is just your mild Rotel with the um, green chili peppers. The last thing we're adding is our cup of cheese. And guys, once you add your cheese in, give it a quick stir. And then I would taste it to see if the flavors are to your liking. And if not, you can add salt and pepper. Guys, it's so much, it looks like it's gonna overflow the pan. You know, I really like these quick meals like this where you get a lot and it's really filling. Like, look how much this made. See what we started off with and how much we have now? And then to stuff our peppers with it, this is gonna be very filling. Let's get these peppers stuffed. Oh, wow. Sounds like those girls are having a good time in there. Now that we have our pepper stuffed and kind of overstuffed, we're going to go ahead and add some cheese. And once we add the cheese on top, we're going to put them back in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. All right, again, 350 for 15 minutes. All right, guys, it's time to pull these stuffed peppers out of the oven. And again, that's taco stuffed, taco stuffed bell peppers. What a great way to spice up your week. 
Well, guys, you know my saying. It's been real. Bye now.